Greetings everyone. Throwback Chevy. Uh, my name is Michael Coughlin. Uh, welcome to the program. An undisclosed location along the northern shores of Lake Erie. I'll tell you more about it after this. Welcome back to the program, folks. How are you doing? Uh, Mike here. What a wonderful uh, summer it has been here in the province of Ontario. Uh, been a busy summer for me uh, in more ways than one. Uh, lots of work going on, uh, lots of work in the production field, both in, uh, you know, cinematically speaking and uh, production music wise, uh, doing some writing and recording myself, uh, and uh, really trying to fit in. Uh, these moments where I can get away from the city. Uh, as most of you know, I spend uh, a great deal of time for work in Toronto. And uh, here is one of those fortunate occasions where I, I have escaped the concrete jungle and uh, made it out to the northern shores of Lake Erie. And I'm somewhere uh, in between a Turkey Point, uh, Long Point, and uh, Port Dover in that neck of the woods. Uh, what a wonderful little spot I just perchance happened on and uh, the, the water is warm uh, because it's been a blazing hot summer when it finally did hit and uh, you know people are in a great mood uh, I managed to avoid the uh, high traffic uh, moments of the long weekend so far uh, I have to get back to the city tomorrow but uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity to make a video because it has been a very long time and uh, you know, there's been a reason for that. I've been I've been quite busy. Uh, I wanted to mention um, something I'm involved in, uh, a, a project that I'm really proud of. It's really been a, a tremendous amount of fun. Uh, I had a guest role uh, appearing in the television series called um, uh, Age of the Living Dead, which is a uh, dystopian uh, films production. Uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, writers and directors and producers, uh, cinematographers, uh, the crew, uh, the cast. Yeah, so I got to play a small part um, with that production. It was really uh, a lot of fun. Also, uh, two um, independent uh, feature films uh, by much of the same uh, crew and production staff. Uh, one called This Was America, which has been entered into the Toronto International Film Festival. And uh, another uh, called The Nights Before Christmas, which is a Christmas slasher film uh, headed uh, to outlets near you. Um, I believe it will be a streaming feature. Uh, more news as I get it in terms of the distribution deal that is being worked on as we speak. So, uh, should be fun and out in time for the holidays. Uh, I just, uh, I get chills up and down my spine when I think of that one. Uh, I get killed a lot in these productions, it seems to me. I think I've been typecast already. What can you do? I'll take the work whenever I can get it. Uh, yeah, so uh, other than that, uh, I've been uh, just getting back to guitar. Um, I have a couple of new pieces that I'm working. I uh, have been getting some great sounds uh, committed uh, to tape, as they say in the biz, and uh, I've discovered a way to play electric guitar in the Chevy, uh, which will probably be another episode. Hopefully I can show you uh, what's been up with that. and. Uh, I just want to take you inside the van at this point in time, show you a few of the things that I've been getting great use of, and uh, it's been making my summer um, much more enjoyable. So come this way, won't you? Uh, got the benefit of the shade of the trees here, which is terrific. And uh, lo and behold, the cottage-like atmosphere of the uh, 85 Chevy van. So, uh, Maybe I should turn my sign off, or should I leave it on? 
we'll leave it on for now. Uh, first thing I want to draw your attention to uh, are these screen windows, which came with the van when I got it. Oops, be careful of the trees. Uh, they are so handy. And here's another one on the other side. That's my TV antenna there. Um, if you can uh, get a van with screen windows, I can't uh, mention the benefits enough. They're, they're really, really terrific. Uh, because obviously you can get a breeze and, uh, and, and uh, bar the bugs from getting in at the same time. So that's been terrific this summer. Um, also, along the same lines, in that, in that spirit, uh, I did buy some mesh and uh, magnets. And those are for these windows. So I can put mesh up on these windows, still get the breeze, and, uh, and obviously be free of bugs. Really, really great. I might even get some more mesh for those days when mosquitoes are like crazy to put above here uh, so I can still benefit from maximum air circulation, which is so important in the summertime uh, when you're doing the van thing. I can't, uh, whew, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it without uh, these little tricks that I've picked up um, by trial and error. And obviously I've seen what other people are up to uh, out there. Also, um, this little Honeywell fan. is so incredible. Um, it's just tiny. It doesn't draw too much on my solar panel. I don't know if you can see my, um, that's my inverter in there. But this little baby does not uh, draw incredibly on power. And uh, if you have fresh air coming into the van uh, through your screen window, and then you have this to uh, move it along at a stronger velocity, uh, it just, makes your day and uh, you can also put it in front of the window like so and exhaust that air uh, the hot air out of your van a lot faster than you would by just opening the window so a fan is paramount uh, and that that's a good one it's the Honeywell I am not uh, in any way associated with the Honeywell people. I just know I've worked with them uh, in the uh, production world for a concert production, and uh, we use them. Drummers are fond of them to have them set up beside their drum kit to keep the air flowing around them because they get very hot, obviously, because they're strenuously uh, flailing legs and arms uh, throughout the night as they perform. Uh, and those things never get any complaints, and they just go through hell and back. They're plastic, but it's a, it's a durable, tough-like plastic, so they work very, very well. So. Uh, love my fan. Um, I have a smaller fan uh, in the back, which is uh, terrific too, but it is not as uh, strong of a fan. It's a much smaller. Uh, the Honeywell has three speeds. Uh, my other fan has two speeds. Um, but, you know, you use both of them quite often. And if they're a minimal draw on your power, then uh, even better. Uh, you can see my television here. I have talked about this in the past. Uh, it's a great way to uh, not miss any games. Uh, Toronto Raptors, anybody? Um, and, yeah, so uh, these are some of the things I've been leaning on. And uh, not least of which is my little power bank slash battery booster. Um, it's a shoemaker. Uh, again, I'm not affiliated with this brand in any way, and it's uh, really a simple, basic thing. See, I have 93% uh, left, and I've been using this a lot. I've been uh, charging uh, my phone, uh, my laptop, and uh, it's been, you know, great. I really, really like it. Uh, there's probably better units out there. By all means, share in the comment section below if you have something that works uh, fantastic. But this is pretty bulletproof. Uh, it's been rained on <laughs> by mistake, and uh, it, uh, it was put out to dry and, and knock on wood, it's still going. Uh, but I really like it. As you can see, you can charge USB. Uh, you can plug in. That's where I would plug in my laptop. Um, and then there's 12 volt outlets. And then you can boost your battery, which I have done yeah, 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 many times. Uh, there's even a small compressor, which I have not used yet, but I'm sure it works. 
I don't know how good it would be for my van tires, but uh, certainly for bicycle or inflatable toys for the lake or, or what have you. Um, but yeah, it's been a really terrific thing. So between my 100 watt solar panel uh, with my inverter and my marine battery uh, and, and this Shoemaker um, power booster, I can run all night with uh, fans, laptops, and uh, you know charging necessities. So um, it's been great. Uh, I am considering getting a second 100 watt solar panel, maybe a second battery. Uh, but you know, uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, this this combination has been uh, bulletproof. So uh, thanks to that. Uh, another little thing I've been doing as I've been driving uh, around the uh, Great Lakes. Uh, up Lake Huron Way and, and down here at Lake Erie uh, is I've been collecting fridge magnets. It's, it's a thing I have. Uh, so you can see um, Mermaid's Drink for Free. That was uh, purchased in Port Dover. Uh, I Love Arnprior. That's up Ottawa Way uh, when I was shooting up there for dystopian films. Uh, also, uh, Kawagama Lake uh, up near uh, uh, Algonquin Park. Uh, terrific place. We were shooting This Was America up that way. Uh, the Shakespeare Company uh, I did a season with back in Calgary uh, some years ago now, over 12 years ago. My goodness. Uh, that's the Kinks, Ray Davies there from the uh, Misfits album. Uh, Ontario Parks, which are uh, wonderful places to park. Uh, you can see all the folks down here out on the point at Lake Erie really uh, just swamping to the lake. Is that correct terminology? I don't believe so. Onward with the magnet uh, collection. Over on the other side, uh, from my trip to the Yukon, uh, Dorset is, uh, is where you would find uh, Kawagama Lake. Uh, Port Dover, not far from here. Uh, Grand Bend, uh, I was actually there on a work trip. It was, uh, it was it's splendid. I, I sort of spent time growing up there as a teenager. Uh, Tofino, of course, needs no um, explanation. It's, it's uh, out on the uh, Vancouver Island, way out west there on the Pacific Rim. Uh, Alaska, Hyder, Alaska. Met a lot of great folks there. Really cool. Um, and then we have Gananoque, uh, the gateway to the Thousand Islands uh, near Kingston, Ontario on the mighty St. Lawrence River. And uh, Stratford, Ontario. Wonderful place and uh, home of the Bard's famous works on stage uh, and performed by some wonderful, wonderful actors over its history. Not limited to Christopher Plummer, uh, geez, Paul Gross, uh, William Shatner, uh, and uh, Kiom Four, or I should say Calm Fior, the other way around, uh, and so many, so many great. Uh, productions there in Stratford. So yeah, that's a little bit of what I've been up to. Um, the sun is shining through the windshield still at this late moment of the day and it's it's kind of warm. I've stepped out from behind my fan. I still have some open windows here. Um, getting a little bit of a breeze. Uh, but it's been really, really terrific. So the van's holding up wonderfully. I got new exhaust. Uh, sounds like a new machine. Unbelievable. Um, it's rusty. Uh, but it's running so well and uh, it's been so conducive to my lifestyle and been such a, a tremendous boon. It's been so much fun. Uh, this has been my Bible uh, to explore Lake Erie. It's a little map that the uh, tourist board put out uh, for, uh, as you can see, the Hull Demand area in Norfolk County. Chatham, Kent, Oxford, Sarnia, Lambton, um, Middlesex, and you know Windsor, Essex. Uh, these are all English names, as you would uh, quite correctly guess. But the beauty of this map is it just—it uh, it was sort of, I think, marketed for uh, motorcyclists, cruisers. You know, as you can see from the imagery. Uh, but I like it because it's great for vanning. And so you can see it outlines all these tremendous routes. And, uh, you know, I've been coming down from Toronto, which is way up here, and working my way down along this coast of Lake Erie. And, uh, you know, it's just been, it's been great. And uh, the, the beauty of vanning, and I've been doing a lot of it this summer. Uh, as I said, whenever I can find the time, one day, two days at a time. I hope to do more next week. Um, 
the beauty of it is, uh, you know, I'm not paying for a motel uh, as opposed to if I was on a Harley Davidson going up and down the coast. Uh, I mean, you could camp. Again, you're paying campground fees. I find secret little spots and uh, I find um, uh, like Walmart parking lots, Canadian Tire parking lots, uh, where their policy is open to people spending the night. Uh, uh, because, you know, they welcome customers in the morning. If you need something uh, to eat, you can pick it up uh, at one of these kinds of places. So, win-win uh, for everybody involved. Anyways, there you go. Uh, that's Throwback Chevy. It's nice to come back and do an episode more headed your way uh, as I find the time and uh, the, the special moments out uh, places like this. From the northern shores of Lake Erie, Canada, it's Throwback Chevy. Have a great one. Please um, uh, feel free to let me know what you're up to with your van, what your hopes and aspirations are, and uh, you know, where you're from, what you're doing, and uh, and we'll go from there. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Michael Coughlin, Throwback Chevy. We'll talk to you the next time.